Russia. And okay. um, what is your understanding of what happened to the uh, head, the, the Broadcasting Board of Governors um, chairman? Um, have you made representations to the Russians? Will this come up when the secretary is there uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, or tomorrow or Friday? Uh, so a couple of things on that, Matt. Uh, first of all, um, we're still, frankly, in the process of uh, sorting through all the details of what happened uh, yesterday or last night um, on the timing of what occurred. Um, uh, but obviously everybody's seen the reports. Uh, you know also that the Broadcasting Board of Governors did issue a statement on the matter. Uh, I'd refer you to that and to them for additional details. Uh, I'm limited here, uh, and I'm limited because uh, we've not yet received the Privacy Act waiver. Once I do, I'll be able to say a bit more, but not a whole lot more about the incident and about oh. the case. <laughs> I said a little bit. So and, and Privacy but, Act now but, applies to official government, you know, all right, it's an independent government agency, and I realize that it is kind of a part-time, it is a part-time job, but he correct. still was traveling in his official capacity. The BBG, as you noted, put out a statement and said that the other people who were with him on this delegation went to the embassy, spoke to Ambassador Teft, and then they thanked Ambassador Teft That's and correct. the department back is, here for their So I was going to urgent, finish that. Right. I was, oh, okay. I was I allow me to done. go on a little bit I'm further sorry, and say, that's okay, no worries. Uh, um, we, uh, we were, when alerted our embassy in Moscow to the, what was happening and to the incident, we did obviously go and assist um, um, Chairman Cho. Uh, but uh, your question highlights uh, some of the ongoing questions and, and, and um, details that we're trying to sort through, which is in exactly what capacity he was traveling in. I have to stop there uh, because you said he is, it is a, it is a role that he plays. He's also well, a private citizen. That he was supposed to go to a reception or to ceremony uh, today marking the, an anniversary for Radio Liberty in Moscow. That would seem to me that he was doing this not in his private capacity at uh, NBC Universal, but rather uh, in his capacity as sure. chairman of the BBG. Again, I, I don't want to read too much into this, and I don't want to, I just, all I'm trying to say, Matt, is I don't have full Privacy Act clearance to go for any further. And frankly, we're still trying to sort through the details of, of what actually happened as to why he was denied. That's really something for the Russians to speak to. Whether we raised our concerns with the Russians, we did. You and did. whether it will come up. Uh, and with Secretary Kerry, I don't know. The Russians have said that the reason that he was denied entry was because he was put on an expanded stop list that was expanded because you guys expanded sanctions against individual Russians. Did they have they not given you that explanation? They made it publicly. It, have the they made it publicly? Ministry. Well, uh, look, Matt, I'm not going to again. They they've said publicly. They've they've offered their explanation. I said it's not for us to to explain what happened to him. It's for them to speak to why they refused his entry. Well, I'm not really asking you to explain what happened to okay. him. I would like to know whether or not you disagree with what happened to him. When you say you express your concerns, well, look, did, you concerned. Pro did you protest it? We expressed our concerns about what happened. We're still trying to see, sort through the precise details of what happened um, and why he was refused. I'm aware of, of some of the public comments that they've made, uh, certainly. Um, and with regard to that public reason that they gave, all I'll say to that is, uh, look, the appropriate response for Russia to any of our sanctions would be to uh, address the concerns on which our ba sanctions are based and not to uh, do a tit for tat. What? You're saying that, you're saying that public, <laughs> the, the public response they gave that he was put on a no-fly yeah, list both, or a no-entry list. Both, both countries do this tit for tat all the time. You guys never seem to, when, when, when they, you know, why are you asking them to do what you guys won't do? Our sanctions uh, I mean, are. Just two, you know, four diplomats, two from each side, expelled from each other the countries last week. This is ha happens on, and you know, happens over and over again. It doesn't seem like any, you know, is that really a reasonable or a uh, logical expectation? Well, it is in the sense of if Russia wants the sanctions lifted, all the sanctions, we've spelled out a clear way by which those sanctions can be lifted. So if they meet those commitments uh, and they meet those uh, expectations, and they can well, be is lifted. Is it fair to say that you have a problem with this guy not being able to get in? To it's country? fair to say we have concerns about what happened, yes.